Hello, welcome back. <clears throat> um, as I said, these are going to be very basic uh, tutorials. So the next thing we're going to do here is to um, go over what some of the interface uh, issues are. I'm going to try to not do so many ums, but I can't guarantee that as my mouth and my brain all sometimes don't work together. All right then. First thing, setting up your uh, workflow. A lot of people like different things, so we're going to look at that. You go to view, you've got layout, and uh, in your layout, uh, you have you can have your sidebar on the left, your sidebar on the right. You can make it a two two column toolbar, a single column toolbar. Uh, put your toolbar on the left, put your toolbar on the right, have your toolbar float, um, and you can either show or not show your uh, sidebar. Interface styles let you have some various colors, and as you can see. You can also have the flat look and the flat look toolbar, which I have here, or you can do outlines. Um, I think I have medium right now as my uh, as my interface. Um, I like my sidebar on the left, and I like my toolbar on the or on the right. Sorry, my other left, and uh, my toolbar on the right as well. And I prefer the single um, toolbar that allows most real estate for working. Also here you can um, change it so that it's in um, full screen mode or uh, compact mode. I'm going to go ahead and change it here so that I can access my camera if needs be. This puts it in a nice little window but if you want to have again that little tiny bit more real estate then you can just uh, turn that on. So there's your first thing is to get your layout um, set up. So, my layout is set up the way that I like it. You can set it up the way you are. We'll go over some of those other things later. For right now, we're good to go. Oh, I guess we'll go over settings real quick. Um, your settings, this is your set your default size. You can uh, set it to just about anything that you uh, want. You can have your default color swatch, your default media, um, the GUI, this is your main window fill color, whether or not you use scroll bars, you can see the various uh, things there um, for your threading and GPU. Um, see, here I am umming again. You can set your threads and the other things that are uh, necessary for your GPU settings. If you don't have GPU, you can disable it. Your memory settings, make sure that you set it so that uh, you've got a, a, a goodly number of uh, undos. Like mine's set for 28 undos right now, and puts me right at the top of my um, targets. Autosave is in Windows, is in Howler 10, and that is an absolute lifesaver. Um, then presets. This lets you, you know, pick your presets if you're not sure exactly what size that you want to set your original startup. Um, benchmark is just several different benchmarks for your CPU and your GPU and whatnot. Um, if things get really messed up, you can delete your registry keys and that kind of cleans up a lot of uh, issues and things like that. And then you can just save it or use it. So, other things we'll go over later. One of the nice things is just about any of the tool things you can hover over and it will tell you what it is. So that gets you a good start right there. That includes works over here and tells you what the various um, things are. So using the toolbar, I guess we'll do that one next. You can just click on it to, of course, use whatever the pieces are. They're pretty much uh, the same as most ubiquitous programs. Your various brushes, your fills, your draw a uh, linear tool your curve tool, um, your special effects tool with gradients, your text tool. The top corner of this one gives you an unfilled rectangle and the lower right gives you a filled rectangle, just like it says. Um, here, same thing with a circle. The uh, ellipses do not have a, um, a bounding, so you're going to have to eye it if you want a perfect circle. Um, this is a um, selector. We'll talk about alpha later it's uh, fairly much equivalent to a mask. There's your circle mask 
and your uh, lasso, and of course your magic wand. All of those um, have to do with your making your selections. The uh, little scalpel here is your um, custom brush selector tool. Um, we'll talk about that. It's a very cool thing. Um, your turkey baster for color picking. Your scroll around the image. You can also set it in your um, those things up at the top. Set it in your beginning settings um, to use the middle bus middle button on your mouse for um, panning around. Um, this allows you to zoom in and out. If you hold that down and you slide side to side, as you see, it get bigger and smaller. This sets it to exactly 100%. This centers it so that it fills up your area exactly. Um, your undo button and your clear everything, get rid of it all, etc. button. These are your, uh, to pick your colors, your primary color, your secondary color, and of course the little button swaps them back and forth. They show up here but you can't change them um, from up here. You can only change them from down here um, insofar as that. So those are your main tools. Now the next thing with the tools is if you right click it you then get um, a bunch of internal brushes. Your simple dots, your airbrushes, pens, pencils, oils, tempera, pastels, watercolor, is your special effects like your smudging, your dodging, uh, glow, things of that nature, organic effects, um, bubbles, things like that. Um, these ones actually are showing what's in the media file. We will cover the media file in another one. These uh, accesses your particles, this accesses your bristle brushes, this one allows you to paint on alpha which then allows you to make a selection by painting a little at a time. Um, then it goes into your brush settings, your custom build, FX buffer settings, clear all your settings. You can take an internal brush and make it a custom brush which then allows you to do more things to it and then unlock your buffer. So um, now we know your tools and you know your basics and so I think that's it for this one because these make huge files for trying to upload. Alright, I'll catch you again in just a minute.